This is the liquid crystal ND filter from Panavision. Cinema 5D at CineGear 2018 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, your one-stop shop for cine, video, photo, and more. Tilta, arm your camera. And Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hey guys, Graham Ayler Sheldon here at CineGear in Los Angeles. I'm here with Haluki from Panavision to talk about this very cool new ND filter next to me. Tell me a little bit about what I'm looking at here. Yeah, so it's called the LCND. It stands for Liquid Crystal Neutral Density Filter. What it is, is six neutral density filters in one filter. Um, so what, the ins whole inspiration of uh, the development of this, of this filter was, was our clients coming to us and saying, hey, wouldn't it be great if, right? And, and a lot of the actual development of, our, of, of anything that we do, it starts with that question, wouldn't it be great if? And the question was, wouldn't it be great if, if we had one filter that, 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 was, that acted as six filters, right? And I was like, okay, okay, all right, we're, we're, let's start talking. Like, let's start exploring different kinds of technologies. And we stumbled upon a technology that could potentially do this, which was, was liquid crystal. But liquid crystal was never mature till now um, and with a bunch of development in which a bunch of like a lot of testing like like really gruesome testing we actually were able to pr pretty much come out with a, with a filter that was actually good performing we're like really so there's not like a like a green cast or any because this stuff that sticks right in front of my high quality cinema lens yeah. and between me and my subject freaks me out a little bit right so Tell me a little bit about, there's, so there's no cast, there's no green tint. Yep. So um, we actually produced the Pana NDs, which was a very high-end ND filter. Um, and the Lee Filters brand sells it as the Pro Glass NDs. Um, I was part of producing that, and I was part of testing the actual prototypes of that. This filter is going through the same tests. So at first, when we started this project, we, we, we went to our engineers saying that, hey, you have to meet these marks. You have to hit these marks or else it's a no-go. And they delivered. So that's what it was, where we actually set the bar pretty high, right, where we were able to deliver the actual uh, the filters where it is actually very, very neutral and color cast. So my understanding of liquid crystal technology is you need to you need to power it, right? So yeah. is there a battery in here somewhere yeah. I don't see? So what it is is it's a technology showcase right here with a floating map box, not really, but this 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 bar right here actually houses the um the, the, the wire that goes to that that switch right there. Let me let me switch that right there. And you could kind of see what that's amazing. Yes, so the ND is switching right now through six stops of ND. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And it goes back to zero. So what it is is battery, powered off of a, like a really small watch battery. And the thing is, if you imagine like a lot of your digital watches that you had back in the 90s and 80s, there were liquid crystals, right? Same thing. So some of them are solar powered. It's very low power. Where we could have that battery that I had, that I had, it's like a watch battery that's been lasting me probably for about a week now. It's, it's right. been lasting you a week? Yes. Okay, great, because I always get really wary when someone's like, I need another battery now to charge for, like, yep. you know, my ND filter. Exactly. So now, in order to power your ND filter, you don't really need to power much at all, really. You know, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make an interface where we're going we're gonna, to um, charge the battery so we can keep it sustained. But we'll keep an interface on it just in case you need to power it or just in case you need to charge it. Yeah, but it's low power to begin with, so it's going to last you a very long time. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much, Haluki. Uh, normally, we, you know, prototypes are a little bit of an iffy thing. Sometimes we don't cover them on Cinema 5D, but this is yeah. pretty cool. I really want to add one to my kit someday. Am I going to get to buy this anytime soon? Yeah, so right after the show, um, um, I'm telling my guys we're going to development. So we're going to productize this. We're going to use Q3 and Q4 to productize. Then hopefully, uh, 2019 Q1, we'll come out with uh, a couple sets for everybody. Buyable, rental, or too early to say, really, right? Too early, early to say, but Panavision has always been about rental, so we're probably going to rent through the Panavision uh, branch, but we always have Lee Filters, which is our, which is our daughter company. We might uh, go the retail path through that. There you go, guys. Liquid Crystal ND technology. Very cool. Um, stay tuned to Cinema5D.com for more continuing coverage from CineGear in Los Angeles.